Ciao. Fit and Disney bounding. Now, if you don't know what Disney bounding is, it's essentially using normal slash modern clothes to dress up like a Disney character without. That goes. Engage. Engage. Are you watching that guy, ABK? I can't remember his name now, but do you know who I'm talking about? The mm-hmm. Irish guy on on YouTube. He came across my uh, transom. Whatever. I don't even know how to say it. It's Alistair. Whatever. I'll find it and I'll yeah, I'll, I'll tell I, you. I don't think I know this because he's brilliant and I don't understand how he came sort of out of nowhere. I would imagine you know to his way of thinking. It was one of those overnight stories that took 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. But the guy's just brilliant. It's because of my Star Trek stuff. I I found a thing where he was imitating, because he does these things that's like every film noir, right? Or Mm -hmm. every, like he just did one that was brilliant, that was every um, true crime podcast that's absolutely amazing, especially if you're a podcaster or somebody who listens to those. But the first one I saw was uh, every episode of a popular science fiction series, and he was basically doing um, TNG Ah. and hit every trope. And yet it was brilliant, usually about two minutes each. They don't even take that much time. But uh, yeah, guy's brilliant. I have no idea why I brought that up now. You said something and I thought, ooh, that's I said engage. That's all it took. Oh, that's what it was. It was engage, right? Because he did the Star Trek thing. Anyway, we're not talking to him today. We're talking to Tom Merritt. Uh, uh, star of 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 the internet, and <laughs> star, also the, the internet. Well, no, I didn't say the star of the internet. Star of oh, the internet. Should. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> he also writes books, so you know, he's a double threat at least. Hey, speaking of threats, that's a horrible segue. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that. I apologize. <laughs> speaking of threats, that's how we got Tom as a guest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, he wouldn't pay the 50 bucks to lock up his email. So <laughs> I was like, well, then my email. come on the show. It, it's either or. That's really what it is. Right. So uh, so a couple of days ago, as we uh, record this, uh, several days ago now as people hear this, because it's Tuesday as the show plays, uh, the CDC came out and said, hey, mask off, everybody. It's fine now. If you If you're fully vaccinated, and of course, everybody's getting fully vaccinated, if you're fully vaccinated, uh, you know, hang it. Literally, hang the mask. It, it's fine. You, in most places when you're outside, it's fine. A lot of places inside, it's fine, as long as you can socially distance, uh, provided you are completely vaccinated. And I can't say what happened to me exactly when they said that, but I wouldn't 100% say it was relief. I'm curious, because you and I talked This time last year, I think, Mm -hmm. about the whole Mm -hmm. mask thing, about how many masks you had, about, you know, how you were taking care of them, about whether a guy that I had seen a month and a half before was ridiculous for wearing a mask. You said yes. I said no. You said yes. I said no. That went on for like five minutes. Yeah. Where are you now on the mask thing? I I, I had, for the better part of a year, uh, uh, seven plastic sandwich bags each with a mask in them Mm -hmm. (laughs) that when i would go out to walk the dog in the morning i would pull one on right Mm -hmm. and then at the end of the week i'd wash them all but that way i was never reusing a mask right Mm -hmm. and i I always had a different one every day uh today was the day that i got rid of the bags Hmm. i still have the masks i'm still using masks but because i can now go outside uh, LA County has, has said, yeah, all right. If, if you're fully vaccinated and, and you're outside and you're not around a bunch of people, you don't have to wear a mask. Uh, and I am fully vaccinated more than two weeks after my second shot of the Moderna. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, good. I don't, I'll, I'll have a mask in my pocket in case I need it, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll walk the dog without it. So that's where I'm at. Moderna. Cause I had the Moderna as well. I'm curious if you don't, if you, we can take a minute. Uh, mm-hmm. how was it for you? The first one and the second one? It wasn't bad. The first one I got achy in my shoulder Mm -hmm. and even a little itchy, a little rash uh, around it. People love hearing a rash story, don't they? But yeah, it wasn't. (laughs) Um, uh, And and that was it. it. It was it was fine. The second one, I didn't think anything was happening. But then I kind of noticed that I was going to bed a little earlier and waking up a little later. So Mm -hmm. I I think it definitely made me more tired. 
but that was it. I didn't, I didn't have any significant side effects. What about you? Uh, kind of the opposite. I was tired the first one, but I mean, I was pretty much okay. And the second one, I spent the whole night because I actually was planning to do a show that night. But uh, there was no doing that because I pretty much spent the whole night wondering when it was I was going to start to feel crappy. And mm. so that was so distracting that I didn't do anything. And so I, you know, watched a movie, went to bed. And, uh -huh. and the next day was just awful. The next day, well, not oh, awful. Sorry. That's the thing. I don't want to say awful because I actually did a, a solo episode of In a Few Minutes about this a couple of weeks ago. We all mm -hmm. talk about the side effects. And I don't want people to think that the side effects are, are so bad that it's not worth doing. If you get the flu and you didn't know you were getting the flu and you don't know how your body is going to react to the flu, that's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. If you go for the vaccine, I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is, I mean, you know, you're going to spend a couple of days not feeling well. Yeah. And, and so I don't want to say it's awful because, I mean, I knew I was going to feel bad or I knew there was a possibility I was going to feel bad. I did feel bad. And then I was fine. I was a little distracted, honestly. I felt like maybe I had a little bit of a brain fog for a couple of days longer than oh, yeah. I expected. But, I mean, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't terrible. Now, I, two nights ago, I guess, when the CDC said, once you're fully vaccinated, you can go out, you know, for a walk or whatever with no mask, uh, I did. And it was weird how not weird it was, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, at the same time, I don't remember what they're doing in California. I haven't been to a store or anything yet. I don't know what that's going to be like. I'm going to take a mask, obviously, and I assume I'm going to wear a mask. And I'm a little weirded out by the possibility of, you know, other people in the store and how they're going to be. Because, as we mentioned yesterday, uh, people aren't always cool. <laughs> With anything. <laughs> Right. Exactly. I had a, I yeah. shop at a different grocery store now than I did this time last year because I got into it with a guy who just kept taking off his mask and then going and breathing in people's faces at the Ralphs oh that I was gosh. going to. Right. Uh -huh. And so the idea that, you know, and, and I mean, nobody in the offense, we all want to get back to quote normal end quote. But the idea that we're just going to be like, yeah, if you're fully vaccinated, uh, don't wear a mask. And then, yeah, we're just going to trust that everybody who's saying, no, 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 it's okay. I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> you well, know? yeah. So, so I, I've, I've talked through this with a bunch of people and it's, it's a sad state of affairs we're in these days uh, mm -hmm. because everybody is treating this like a team sport and mm -hmm. that underlines everything. Right. If 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 this weren't like I'm team mask, I'm team no mask. We hate each other. Like if, if w that, that would be like I, I'm team penicillin or, or I'm team washing your hands. Like it's ridiculous. Oh, God, I'm so excited about not washing my hands anymore, dude. <laughs> but this is <laughs> so that under underlies the ridiculousness we're at, because if it wasn't for that, I think a lot of this goes away. And all that happened was the folks who are in charge of watching disease said our advice now is that if you're fully vaccinated, you're probably good without a mask in most of these situations. You might still want to put a mask in these situations for helping reduce the spread, reducing the risk, because even if you're fully vaccinated, there's still a small risk. That's all it was. It was advice to you. Right. You will feel safe. It wasn't. We've now changed the rules. Everybody's asking, acting like the CDC is king, and they have now, re you know, put a decree uh, of masks. And like, yeah, but how do you prove you're fully? Nobody has to prove you're fully vaccinated or not. This is advice to you. If you are fully vaccinated, you should feel safe walking around without a mask. That advice can also be used by governments, by businesses, to adjust their own policies. And yeah. My grocery store still requires a mask because I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're like, we don't want to try to figure out who's vaccinated and who's not. Right. Maybe it's because, eh, you know, it's a grocery store. It gets crowded. Uh, and so even though, you know, you can be inside without a mask in low crowded situations, we get kind of crowded. I don't know why, but they're, that's their policy and they can do it. They're a business that gets to do that. It, it becomes a problem when you like you've got the person who's like, why are you still requiring a mask? The CDC said we don't have to wear them. It's like, no, the CDC doesn't choose the policy of grocery stores. But because we're all team mask and team no mask, you know, everybody's spoiling for a fight. And it just ah, it makes me cranky. What's really weird is there's somebody that I follow on Twitter and I don't want to say who because I don't want to start anything with anything. It's nobody I know personally, but whatever. 
there's somebody I follow on Twitter who's been, I don't want to say team mask, right? They've been team science, apparently, or team advice to mm -hmm. this point. But the problem is now the advice is if you don't want to, you don't have to. And this dude's like flipped 180 now. And he's like, I don't understand people. They've said we don't have to anymore. Why would anybody? And it's like, well, I, why are you mad that somebody would still <laughs> yes, go ahead and exactly. do that? No one's making anyone do it now in right. those situations. Right. But also, you know, like. If it's cold, if it's warm outside and I wear long sleeves, nobody goes, oh, Mr. Wears long <laughs> sleeves in the warm weather. You know, <laughs> oh, my gosh, look at you. You must be a political party. I don't like because you're wearing long sleeves and it's 74 degrees. Like it's ridiculous. It's you know what? If it's like, oh, I've got a cold. Right. Not everything's covid related. I got a cold. I don't want to infect you. Wear right. a mask. I'm less likely to give you my cold. Right. I, that's fine. <laughs> <sighs> I got to tell you. Uh, the person I was talking about who was walking around breathing on people and all that stuff, the guy who made me change where I shop, right? Mm -hmm. I've got a, uh, I got a pair of Vans that were from the uh, 90th anniversary of Mickey Mouse. They came out a couple of years ago. I bought them because I was going to do some Disney bonding stuff, right? Kind of fun. Nice. I happened to be wearing those the day I, I ran into that individual at the Ralphs. And 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 he would he's kept getting like literally trying to get in my face. I had to block him with my cart and all this stuff. And what he eventually came to, as far as the insult that he had for me, was, "What are you going to do now, Mister?" He looks me up and down. Cute shoes. Oh, like that's the, well, that's it. That's, man, if I'd been wearing long sleeves and my cute shoes, <laughs> I think one of us might have gone to jail that day. <laughs> <laughs>